2 News is brought to you in part by Jenny Craig, Personal Weight Management. Affordable. How many different fuels there are? Our reporter Carlin Tilly has the answer. Cars using alternative fuels are popping up all over Boise. The popularity stems from people concerned with pollution that have invested the time and money to do something about it. But you won't believe just how many different things can make a car go. Propane is the first we looked at today. Jack Garrett has built several cars using the gas and says helping the environment isn't the only advantage. About 80% of the propane uh, in the United States comes from domestic source. We only import about 18 or 20 percent, so it's a domestic fuel. Unfortunately, you do lose a little power with this fuel, and it's not as efficient, but it is cheap. It costs just about a dollar a gallon compared to the dollar 30 plus for regular gas. But remember, propane isn't available just anywhere. You have to know where to get it. The next is a mix of gasoline and ethanol. This is something you'll see in higher quality gases, but not 85 percent ethanol. But remember, there's a big difference between unleaded gas, even diesel gas, compared to the E85 gas. So when you pick up this pump, you could be paying $2 a gallon for something you don't need. It's actually $1.91 to be exact and can only go in cars specially designed for it. But most of these cars will take regular gas also. Compressed natural gas is what Boise's bus systems run on, and they've gotten nothing but clean reviews. We estimate that by using compressed natural gas, we're saving annually about 50,000 pounds of carbon monoxide from the, uh, from the air about 6,000 pounds of particulate matter. So that's making the air a lot easier to breathe in the Treasure Valley. And it's cheaper than most other alternative fuels at just a third of the cost of diesel fuel at 50 cents a gallon. But the cheapest fuel we found is not a fuel at all. It's 120 volts of electric power. Owners say it's not only environment friendly, but very cost efficient. How long have you driven this? Over two years now, daily driving every day and I haven't had to touch a tool to it the whole time. Lots of choices and lots of different levels of commitment and price. It just depends on how much the pollution bothers you. Carlin Tilly, 2 News. We'll have more on alternative fuels and how they're made tomorrow on 2 News at 530. And Scott joins us now. We had a